Prepare yourselves, AI researchers and tech enthusiasts, because Anthropic just dropped a bombshell that's reverberating across the entire artificial intelligence landscape. In a week already buzzing with groundbreaking releases from Google and OpenAI, Anthropic unleashed Claude Opus 4.5, and it's not merely an update, it's a profound statement. This new model has shattered a world record on a benchmark specifically designed to test real-world software engineering capabilities. A challenge so formidable, it often stumps even highly skilled human developers. We're not talking about generating slightly better poetry or summarizing emails a tad faster. We're witnessing the emergence of an AI capable of functioning as a high-level engineer. But the most astonishing aspect isn't just the raw benchmark score, it's the strategic brilliance behind it. While OpenAI is diligently crafting an AI to be your ultimate personal shopping assistant, and Google is subtly weaving its AI into the fabric of its vast office suite, Anthropic is laser-focused on building an unparalleled expert. In this deep dive, we will meticulously dissect what makes Opus 4.5 so incredibly powerful. Present the compelling data that validates its prowess and rigorously compare it against the latest offerings from OpenAI and Google. The AI war has undeniably entered a thrilling new phase, and by the end of this analysis you will have a crystal clear understanding of each contender's unique battle plan. So what exactly is this revolutionary Claude Opus 4.5? It stands as the new flagship model from Anthropic a company historically renowned for its unwavering commitment to AI safety and the development of robust, reliable AI systems. However, with this release, they are unequivocally asserting their position in the fierce race for raw computational power and advanced reasoning. Their audacious claim, it is the best model in the world for coding, agents, and computer use. Let's rigorously examine if this bold assertion holds true. The headline figure is nothing short of astounding. On Sweebench, a notoriously brutal evaluation that tasks an AI with autonomously resolving real-world software bugs sourced directly from open-source GitHub projects, Opus 4.5 achieved an incredible 80.9%. To put this into stark perspective for our research community, this score doesn't just surpass, it decisively blows past the latest and most advanced models from both Google and OpenAI. This isn't a theoretical academic exercise. It represents the closest we currently have to a definitive measure of an AI's capacity to perform the intricate multi-step job of a professional software engineer entirely autonomously. Anthropic's own engineers reported that when confronted with complex bugs spanning multiple interconnected systems, the model simply figures out the fix, demonstrating an unprecedented level of problem-solving and contextual understanding. This profound new capability is already transitioning from research labs to practical application. It's being rolled out in a public preview for GitHub Copilot, where it is slated to power highly demanding workflows. Imagine an AI capable of orchestrating complex code base migrations or executing large-scale refactoring projects with minimal human oversight. This signifies a monumental leap in AI's utility for professional software development. Yet, raw power alone is insufficient if its access is prohibitive. The second major shockwave accompanying this release is a dramatic price reduction. Anthropic has slashed the cost of their pop-tier model. Opus 4.5 now costs a mere $5 for a million input tokens and $25 for a million output tokens, representing a massive 66% price drop from its predecessor. This strategic move positions it squarely within a highly competitive price bracket against its rivals. By making this unparalleled level of performance so much more accessible, Anthropic isn't merely releasing a model, for a select few researchers, they are making a direct, aggressive play for businesses and developers to build their next generation of AI-powered tools and applications on their platform. They are betting that this potent combination of industry-leading performance and democratized pricing will irresistibly draw the entire developer ecosystem into their orbit. Finally, the foundational engine enabling these complex operations is its remarkable context window. 
Opus 4.5 retains its colossal 200,000 token context window, which is akin to endowing the AI with a working memory capable of holding the equivalent of a 500-page technical manual or an entire codebase segment. Furthermore, it can generate up to 64,000 tokens in a single response. This extensive output capability is absolutely critical for completing large, intricate projects without the need to fragment them into tiny, disconnected pieces, thereby maintaining coherence and continuity in its reasoning and output. For AI researchers, this means the ability to process and generate much longer, more complex code segments, detailed analyses, or comprehensive documentation, pushing the boundaries of what autonomous agents can achieve. Okay, the numbers are undeniably impressive, but what does achieving an 80.9% score on a rigorous coding test truly signify for the future trajectory of AI research and application? This is where we transcend the realm of simple chatbots and delve into the transformative world of agentic AI. Consider this analogy, a conventional chatbot even a highly advanced one, is akin to a world-class reference librarian. You can pose any question, and it will furnish you with a meticulously researched, well-articulated and fact-checked answer based on its vast knowledge base. However, it will not autonomously design or construct the bookshelf for you. An agentic AI, which is precisely what Opus 4.5 is engineered to be, functions more like a master craftsman or a lead engineer, you can articulate a high-level objective, such as identify and resolve this critical bug in my code base, and it possesses the inherent capabilities to meticulously plan the project, intelligently utilize its available tools, and systematically execute the task from its inception to its successful completion. It can autonomously read and comprehend multiple interconnected files, discern their intricate relationships, write new code, and then rigorously test its own modifications to validate the efficacy of the fix. This multifaceted, iterative problem-solving process is precisely what is required to excel on a benchmark like SWE Bench. You are not merely soliciting an answer. You are entrusting the AI with the responsibility of solving a complex, real-world problem. This is precisely where that monumental 200,000 token context window becomes an indispensable asset. An AI cannot effectively diagnose and rectify a complex software bug by merely examining a single file in isolation. It necessitates the ability to load and comprehend the entire relevant code base, or at least substantial portions of it, into its working memory to fully grasp the intricate interdependencies and overall system architecture. Opus 4.5's unparalleled capacity to manage and process this immense volume of information is the fundamental enabler of its sophisticated engineering capabilities. For researchers, this opens up new avenues for studying long context reasoning and complex task execution. Furthermore, Anthropic has introduced an innovative effort parameter. Its groundbreaking feature empowers developers and researchers to dynamically choose between a faster, more cost-effective response, or to allocate more computational resources to achieve the absolute highest quality result. At a medium effort setting, Opus 4.5 can match the performance of its predecessor, Sonnet 4.5, while consuming an astonishing 76% fewer tokens, rendering it significantly more economical to operate. However, when the effort is cranked to high, it unleashes its full potential, achieving that record-breaking 80.9% score on Sweebench. This granular control provides developers with unprecedented flexibility to balance cost, speed, and the desired level of output quality, optimizing for diverse research and development scenarios. This is not merely another incremental step forward in AI development. It represents a fundamental paradigm shift from AI that primarily provides information to AI that actively accomplishes complex, goal-oriented work. For AI researchers, this signals a new frontier in agent design and autonomous problem solving. So, if Anthropic is meticulously constructing this super-intelligent AI engineer, what are its formidable rivals, OpenAI and Google, currently pursuing? This is where the narrative becomes exceptionally compelling, as for the first time, 
it appears that the leading AI laboratories are no longer competing on the same track. They are diverging onto entirely distinct strategic pathways. First, let's turn our attention to OpenAI. Just this past week, they unveiled a sophisticated shopping research mode within ChatGPT. This is a highly specialized feature meticulously designed to transform the AI into your ultimate personal product advisor. You can engage it to brainstorm gift ideas or to conduct in-depth product comparisons, and it will intelligently ask clarifying questions, dynamically check retail websites for real-time prices and availability, and then generate a highly personalized buyer's guide tailored precisely to your needs. The entire experience is deeply interactive, allowing you to intuitively swipe on product suggestions to progressively refine the results. This innovative feature is reportedly powered by a specialized, fine-tuned version of their GPT-5 mini model, specifically optimized for e-commerce and shopping queries. It is being made accessible to all users, including those on the free tier, and OpenAI is strategically loosening usage limits during the crucial holiday season to maximize adoption and engagement. Observe the stark contrast in strategy Anthropic is singularly focused on complex, professional, agentic tasks such as advanced coding and engineering, while OpenAI is making a direct, aggressive play for the mass consumer market. They are addressing a fundamentally different problem, not how do we fix this incredibly complicated software bug, but rather, how do we make the often tedious process of online shopping a seamless and enjoyable experience? They are meticulously building a tool for everyone, meticulously designed for daily life and relentlessly pursuing widespread mass market adoption. For researchers, this highlights the growing trend of domain-specific AI optimization. Then there's Google. Google's latest strategic maneuver is considerably more understated, yet it possesses equally profound long-term implications. They are actively developing a deep, synergistic integration between their flagship AI, Gemini, and their powerful AI-powered research tool, Notebook LM. Currently, these exist as two distinct separate products. Notebook LM is an exceptional tool that empowers users to upload their own proprietary documents, be they PDFs, Google Docs, or web pages, and it subsequently constructs a specialized AI that exclusively answers questions grounded in your specific information. Gemini, conversely, is their robust general-purpose AI. The current limitation is that these two powerful systems do not seamlessly communicate with each other. An eagerly anticipated upcoming integration, which has been discreetly identified within the app's underlying code, is poised to fundamentally alter this dynamic. A new Notebook LM button is being incorporated directly into the Gemini interface enabling users to effortlessly import their curated research notebooks directly into their Gemini chat sessions. This groundbreaking functionality means you will soon be able to engage in conversations with Gemini that are meticulously grounded in your own personalized, curated research, thereby combining the factual accuracy and source grounding of Notebook LM with the advanced reasoning and conversational prowess of Gemini. Google's overarching strategy is not predicated on a single headline-grabbing benchmark or a standalone consumer feature. It is an expansive ecosystem play. They are strategically leveraging their unparalleled dominance in workplace productivity tools such as Docs, Drive, and Gmail to forge an AI-powered ecosystem that is incredibly difficult to exit. Their strategy is to achieve victory by making their entire interconnected suite of products demonstrably smarter together, thereby creating an indispensable integrated workflow for enterprise users and researchers alike. So why does any of this matter to you, whether you're an AI researcher or a tech enthusiast? It signifies that the era of a singular AI race is effectively over, and the AI wars have now officially commenced. For the past several years, the objective of the AI race was relatively straightforward. Who could engineer the largest, most generally intelligent model? All the leading laboratories were largely chasing the same leaderboards and striving to conquer the same benchmarks. However, the underlying technology has now matured to a critical juncture, where the fundamental question is no longer merely how intelligent can we make it, but rather, 
What specific specifications do we want to perform? Real-world purpose is it actually for? This strategic divergence represents a critical fork in the road for AI development. One path, boldly chosen by Anthropic, is the path of deep professional specialization. AI models like Opus 4.5 are meticulously aimed at fundamentally transforming expert-level professions. For software engineers, financial analysts, scientific researchers, and other highly skilled professionals, this trajectory points towards a future where AI is not merely an assistant, but a true, indispensable collaborator capable of managing and executing complex, long-term projects. It is about profoundly augmenting human experts, empowering them to tackle and solve problems that were previously deemed too intricate, too time-consuming, or simply beyond the scope of human capacity alone. This opens up vast new research areas in human AI collaboration and autonomous agent design. The second path, vigorously pursued by OpenAI, is entirely focused on achieving mass adoption by consumers. By meticulously building highly useful and intuitive tools for everyday tasks, such as personalized shopping experiences, they are strategically endeavoring to embed their AI as a daily habit for billions of people worldwide. Their overarching goal is to become the default, ubiquitous interface through which we all interact with technology in our daily lives. This strategy emphasizes user experience, accessibility, and broad utility. The third path, Google's meticulously planned trajectory, is centered on dominating the enterprise workflow. They are strategically leveraging their unparalleled market dominance in workplace tools like Docs, Drive, and Gmail to construct an AI-powered ecosystem that is incredibly sticky and difficult for businesses to abandon. Their strategy is to secure victory by making their entire interconnected suite of products demonstrably smarter together thereby creating an indispensable, integrated workflow that enhances productivity and collaboration across organizations. For researchers, this highlights the importance of AI integration within existing platforms. This newly defined landscape means that identifying the best AI is no longer a simple, monolithic question. The optimal AI for a seasoned developer meticulously debugging a complex system will undoubtedly be Claude Opus 4.5. The most effective AI for an individual meticulously planning their holiday shopping will be ChatGPT. And the most powerful AI for a research team seamlessly collaborating within the Google Workspace environment will be Gemini. The future AI wars will not be fought over abstract general intelligence, but rather over specific, demonstrable, and highly valuable real-world utility within distinct domains. So, while the immediate attention-grabbing headline is that Claude Opus 4.5 has unequivocally shocked the world by establishing a new, unprecedented standard in AI engineering capabilities, the true underlying story is far more expansive and profound. The genuine shock lies in the sudden, crystal-clear divergence in strategic approaches among the undisputed leaders in the artificial intelligence field. We have definitively moved beyond the era of a singular AI race and have now entered a multi-front war for AI dominance, a conflict being waged across diverse industries and targeting distinct user segments. Anthropic's monumental leap forward with Opus 4.5 didn't merely elevate the existing bar from what AI can achieve. It has fundamentally redrawn the entire map of the AI landscape. The coming year will not be defined by who can ascend highest on a single, universal benchmark, but rather by which contender can most successfully conquer and solidify their chosen strategic territory. And that brings me to my final crucial question for you our esteemed AI researchers and tech enthusiasts. Now that we are witnessing these advanced AIs begin to specialize so profoundly, what is the one specific real-world problem you most urgently wish an AI agent could solve for you right now? Share your innovative ideas and insights in the comments section below. I meticulously read every single one, as your perspectives are invaluable to understanding the future direction of AI. If you found this in-depth breakdown valuable and insightful, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. 
it genuinely helps our channel grow and allows us to continue bringing you cutting edge AI news and analysis. Thank you for watching, and I eagerly anticipate engaging with you in the comments and in our next deep dive.